Hey guys and gals, it's LJ. Welcome to Tinker and Play. Today we're tinkering and playing with a skeleton, only a little part of the skeleton. We're playing with some spray adhesive, some Loctite spray foam, and I've got this uh, already started. I, did, I apologize for not starting the video earlier when I actually began this project, but I got a little bit into it. I'm like, you know what? I might as well record this and see what this thing turns out. Um, this is my first time trying to mold uh, aluminum foil on a mannequin uh, a foam, styrofoam head. And with, with the heavy duty uh, aluminum foil, molding it into like the shape of something and then going over it with Loctite spray foam and on top of that, some various spray paints. Uh, this first start out, I was going to make something like a, a big pointy-eared, big gruesome monster for our 2024 Halloween haunt. But then my little girl came by and said, oh, you're going to make a werewolf. So now I'm going to make a werewolf. So everyone that does these DIY and how-to videos and especially stuff like the Halloween mask making and things like that, decoration making, gets inspiration from someone. Um, you know, there really are no true originals anymore. It's everyone who's building on someone who's done something in the past. Well, right now I'm taking an idea from one of my favorite YouTubers, Mr. Alan Hops, and his spray foam, this Loctite spray foam technique with making masks and prop, prop heads and everything and prop bodies. And I'm actually taking that and using this heavy duty aluminum foil and I'm not making a mask per se. Uh, I don't really, really don't wanna make masks. What I want to make is like heads and busts for my props that I have for my um, my Halloween haunts. So I'm going to be building up on top of these uh, foam mannequin heads that sometimes are featured on uh, Alan Hop's YouTube uh, channel on his videos. So that's what I'm going to do. Right now I'm going to take this, keep building up on this. We're going to try to build some sort of werewolf out of this. I've never done this before. I've never built a werewolf. I've never used this spray foam stuff to do this. So let's just... You know, give this shout out to Alan Hops. Go ahead and hit like on this video. Hit subscribe on this channel. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit those notification bells so you don't miss out on any future Tinker and Play videos. To start out, the one thing that I'm taking uh, from this uh, awesome uh, full poseable five foot skeleton, it looks really cool. It's got nice flesh tones here. This is going to look cool for a future corpsing video. So you'll want to definitely like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on that uh, corpsing video, that future corpsing video that will be coming up really soon. And do that and do that for everything else that we do on the channel. What I'm going to do with this is this one I got has these laser or these LED um, eyes in there. You see those? Well, I don't really need those when I'm going to be corpsing a skeleton. So I'm going to take those out of this head. And I'm going to fix them into this head over here so this prop actually has light up eyes. So let's flip this thing over. All right, I got those seven screws off the back of this skeleton skull. And uh, we see that there's a couple wires back there that, that hold these two LED lights in together uh, and into the sockets with just some hot glue. That's it. I'm going to pop all this stuff out. So I got my heat gun so that I can actually heat up these eye sockets here, the the, um, the hot glue, so I can pull these um, LED lights out. So let's go ahead, turn this sucker on. Doesn't take much heat at all. And it looks like, look at that, came out quite nicely. Let's see, let's grab it, and keep it all together. There we go. You see that, <laughs> you see that hot glue there? That's okay, we got the, uh, we got the, uh, the LED light out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one there and I'm gonna get all these, these wires off here and get this all ready for the other head. I've got those eyes removed from the head of my skeleton over here uh, right now. They had like a, like a really dark covering over them that uh, I don't know what the heck that's gonna do with the light. Uh, we'll see if I use that. If not, I'm gonna order myself a set of lights for this thing. And then if I can't get them, get um, a set of light up lights here in time for uh, this project before I put all the foam and everything on, I'll just uh, use ping pong balls and paint them to you know, maybe yellow or something like that to look like a werewolf eyes. 
So let's go ahead and I'm gonna start working on this chin here to uh, start building this uh, out so that I can start actually making the nose <clears throat> of this werewolf. So, you know, uh, aluminum foil is very easy to work with. You know, it kind of attaches to itself really well. So I just kind of, I'm not gonna use the nose of this um, uh, mannequin head here, but I am gonna use it to kind of help anchor down some of this uh, aluminum foil. So I'm gonna build out this, this, uh, this snout uh, in the, the mouth area of this werewolf. You get a piece that won't quite um, stay on the way you want it. That's what the little the spray adhesive is for here. So you spray that on there. Shake it up a little bit. Got to give it about a minute or so to get ready to stick on here really nicely. I'll use this front piece here and then I will take this piece right here, put a little glue on there and then attach it. here, hold it on there, and press it on, let that stick on there. There we go. Just like that. You don't have to work it too much, just push it on there with that spray adhesive. Today I'm using the Gorilla, the gorilla stuff, but uh, I've got about seven different types of spray adhesives that I'll be, that I bring out on the channel. So there we go. So that's sticking on there now a little bit better. I really want to start building this, this front part this nose, this snout, this mouth area out. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do that. No, this is my first time doing this. So let's figure this out together. Maybe, uh, maybe here. Let's try a little spray adhesive on this. Shake it up really good. Spray you some on there. As soon as you spray it, about a minute. Like I said, minute countdown. Kind of do it in your head. All right, that seems like about a minute. Let's just go ahead and fix this around here like this. And see it just it starts sticking immediately. If you want to stick even better, um, spray it on both the piece you're going to attach and then the underneath piece, the other piece that you're attaching it to, and it'll work even better. Put another piece here. Repeat that same, same thing there, just a little bit here. And yes, I am in my... Uh, uh, dining room here doing this so I got a nice little spread here to catch all this stuff. I'm trying not to, uh, to get it on our Christmas decorations here. Alright, so let's just stick this on here and I can already feel it starting to get sticky there. So there we go. So I don't want to press down too much. I just want it to stick on there. Start giving me something to build to. Almost you can almost see it right there almost kind of looks like a dog little dog snout now the dog face because uh, it's out just a little bit but I need to make it curve it a little bit more and maybe come out here a little bit more um, I do watch a lot of werewolf movies and do a lot of things with werewolves so I kind of know what I'm going for but I actually have a reference uh, pictures that I'm looking at numerous reference pictures because I kind of wanted to see my front aspect and both side aspects and how I want the how I want the face to be I want to have an open mouth. I want it to be really scary when it comes out. This is going to be on a prop that I'm hoping to put on a pneumatic device for a future video. So I want it to come out with the mouth open at the guests at my uh, 2024 haunt. So I'm going to have have it open like this. So at some point, maybe right now, I'm going to flatten this out and then build on top of that and build underneath it, so I can build that uh, build the top of the jaw and the bottom of the jaw. So like I, I want to build the back the back part of the mouth here and maybe come out a little bit further so you can kind of actually see through it if you're looking from the side and see back into the mouth uh, from the front. This is just my, uh, um, uh, this is the bottom part, the kind of sculpting, the, sculpting this bottom part out with the aluminum foil and then I'm going to really make the, the cool part, the finished part with the Loctite 
So this right here, this was at Meyer. This is the heavy duty stuff. I paid a couple bucks for this. I'm not even close to even using a half a roll yet. So, and I'm you know nearly done really to tell you the truth. So let's go ahead and stick this up here. I may have put a little bit too much glue on this bottom part. So let's uh, just kind of wrinkle this. Let's wrinkle it back this way. Maybe if I spray, cause that's really sticky. Yeah, it's really sticky. So, if I get another piece here, like this, I want to start bringing this snout up. So, let's attach it like that, maybe. That glue is really sticky. That's good stuff. So, let's just put a little bit down here on this end. And I'm going to go underneath the jaw and start building it out that way. So, I don't really don't want a bunch of sticky on here yet. Or maybe I do. I don't know. This is my first time trying this, so... Let's try it this way. My goal is to not use all my Loctite because I've, I've got a bunch of bottles. Uh, <laughs> I'm starting to collect them more and more, uh, getting ready to, to build all these things for the 2024 haunt. Uh, but the goal is not, not to use all of my, my Loctite. So I'm trying to figure out ways to you know, help me not use all the Loctite. We got something going there. Something duck-like, isn't it? But I'm trying to get my aspect coming out and maybe come out a little bit straighter as, as opposed to down that way. Should be able just to kind of build on these. That's my thought, anyways. So, let's build on this. See what that looks like to you, if you can see that there. Not looking at the video, I'm just wanting to build this out. Slide this on here. Around here, see what this does. Still holding on pretty decent. Like I said, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but um, we're going to try this anyways. On the spots where I think it's sunken too far in, I'll use the Loctite to kind of make that come out a little bit more. So I think I got this right here looking all right. Yeah. Rip off a piece here. And then let's try to attach it this way. And still continue to try to um, build how big I want this, this, this snout, the snarling um, face and jaws of this uh, werewolf to go out. <laughs> we're building, uh, when we do this, we're making, you know, these are mythical, made-up creatures. So, when we make these, we're kind of making an original monster, you know. These werewolves were created to scare, man, a century ago? So, or more? So, um, yeah, we're just building on that lore and building our versions of these awesome scary creatures i'm just trying to flatten this out a little bit more give myself some area for some teeth and see it's so flexible and bendable that's what i love about it is that it's so flexible and bendable that you can kind of do something like that and kind of have that open like that <clears throat> and that looks pretty darn decent right there See this side over here. You weren't seeing that side over there because it was popping up. I felt it popping up, so I figured I'd come over here and maybe start messing with it over here too. I think I'm gonna take this, move it, and maybe use some of this spray, spray adhesive here. This Gorilla spray adhesive. Maybe try to pop this on a little bit better. Maybe put some put some sticky stuff on here. I'm gonna do it on both sides, so. Give it something nice in there. And I'm going to give it a full minute here to get nice and ready to be stuck to each other. Give it the old last blow here. And then it's been about a minute. Let's stick this face on there. I really, when I was putting this on here, I had no idea it actually was um, coming off like that. But I felt it coming off so. Just pushing it on there on both sides. There we go, now it's sticking on there, okay. 
All right, so it's looking like something. It's looking like something. It's gonna look a lot better when I start putting that Loctite on there. But I wanna look at some more of my references, my uh, werewolf references, and just see if I like the way this is looking right now. 